Handstand training sucks. This channel has always been about documenting the learning process of various calisthenics techniques. So far, that has pretty much gone to plan with skills like the muscle up and the L sit. And even though there's still room for improvement with those, I'd be lying to you if I said that the same progress has been made with the handstand. In keeping with the promise I made to you guys, I've shown you guys the calisthenics journey, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Today, we're gonna walk through the frustrations of training, particularly when it comes to handstands. About three months ago, the coronavirus lockdown in the UK started in earnest, and so I decided to push my training for the handstand further forward. I just got my first muscle up at the time, and to be honest, I was still riding that high, and I thought handstands would be an absolute breeze after that. It has been anything but. This is so much more different to anything physical I've ever had to learn before. And there are days where sometimes it feels like I'm just going backwards. In my frustration, I must have watched every YouTube tutorial on handstands in existence, which seems to have gotten me absolutely nowhere. But silver linings, there are some tips that I have used to help me stay motivated, stay on track and keep me moving forward, however slowly that may seem. But before I get into that, I'm going to run through two things that have definitely limited me when it comes to my handstand progress and things that I've highlighted as bottlenecking my handstand gains. The first of those is my weak ass wrists. Going from standing on my feet and ankles to standing on my wrists and hands was very tough. And so after my first week of training, the pain really began. This forced me to back off of my handstand training and that was very frustrating. But thinking about the long-term implications of what would happen if I got injured allowed me to temper my handstand eagerness and allow me to push forward at a later date when I was a little bit more ready. The other thing I was contending with was my crappy shoulder stability. Tell me if you can see what is wrong with this back-to-wall handstand. There are bridges with less obvious arches than the one in my spine right now. When I started training handstand, I knew that my inflexible shoulders was going to be a problem. So I worked on really increasing the flexibility of my shoulders and getting them straight up above my head. The problem I have though, is that they're still not strong in that end range. So when I start stacking my weight on top of my unstable shoulders, I end up with this arch in my back. What this means is my hips are having to try and do the heavy lifting and are working really hard to pull me into posterior pelvic tilt. But without turning this video into a diatribe on why I can't handstand yet, I want to share with you guys some tips that really, really helps me out and helps me to continue moving forward. Tip number one is sticking to some sort of daily plan. Every morning without fail, I warm up my wrists and spend about 15 to 20 minutes working on drills to help things like body line, balance and shoulder health. And I plan on continuing to do this. Albert Einstein is credited for saying that trying to do the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results is a sign of insanity. But to be honest, I think you have to be a little bit insane if you want to start standing on your hands anyway. So at least the method fits the madness. Besides, if it's good enough for babies when they're learning how to walk, it will be good enough for me. I swear, and in order to keep more committed to this, I've asked my girlfriend to keep me accountable. She's actually been fantastic in helping me with this upside down craziness. And this journey would have been a lot more painful without her. Definitely one of the main reasons why handstand training is so frustrating is because it really doesn't give you anything back. It just feels like you work and you work and you work at the handstand and then one day you get the handstand more often than you fail at attempting to do it. For the skills that I've learned in the past, for example, the L-sit or muscle up, I knew I was developing some sort of strength or mobility, and I could feel myself getting stronger, which made it easier to keep driving forward and coming into the next session with a positive mindset. With the handstand, this doesn't exist. So sometimes it really does feel like I'm just bashing my head against the wall and wasting time. But having someone there to keep you accountable and keep you focused is definitely one of the ways that you can keep a positive attitude and keep moving forward. It's what Cali to the Crowd is all about. And if you need that sort of community, you can definitely find it here at Cali to the Crowd. And the second tip that really helped me continue to keep feeling like I'm moving forward is that I'm working on my weak spots. For some people, this might look like weak overhead pressing strength. For others, it might be a weak core. For me, as I mentioned before, the weakness really for me is really in my wrists. So what I'm doing with that is working on drills that will really help remedy building those wrists out so that they become really stable foundations upon which I can build my hands up. These drills include clawing the ground, so moving in and out of overbalance while against the wall. What this does is build strength in the fingertips and acts as a really good exercise for getting me used to knowing what it feels like 
if I feel like I'm going to fall over my hands. Elsewhere, I'm working on flexibility of the wrist joints, so with stretches, and I'm also using self-massage sessions to really get rid of those knots in the forearms. All in all, I knew what I was getting into when I started this calisthenics journey. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. I wanna keep at this until I can regularly hold some sort of balance with confidence, and I know I'll be grateful for the time that I put in earlier. Progressing with calisthenics is an arduous process, but we keep moving forward, even if it doesn't feel like we are at the time. But if you want to be part of a helpful and motivating community that will help you keep that drive going, then be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell as well and join the Kelly to the Cloud family. And I will see you guys in the next video.